Now, the pump performs on that curve right there, and the pump moves up and down on this curve. Let's take this point on the curve. That is 108 feet at 40 gallons a minute. That's the way that the operator would, uh, would consult his pump curve. And uh, what is the 40 gallons? Because we need to complete some action at 40 gallons a minute. Maybe I have an 80 gallon tank and I need to fill that tank in two minutes. That's 40 gallons a minute. The 108 is because I've got so many lengths of horizontal pipe and so many lengths of vertical pipe and I'm passing the liquid through valves and flow meters and orifice plates and so on and so forth and then I've got to filter the liquid and then we got to send it over to the and we got to then we had to heat it and we've got to strain it and then we got to do something else to it and uh, that's the energy so you look at this piping system out here there's your 108 feet of energy that's the design of your system maybe we're lifting the liquid 100 feet and my piping consumes 8 feet that's your 108 feet so whenever you see feet of head or meters of head that is the design of your pipe and tank system it's the energy contained in the system and then the process engineer needs to make uh, so many gallon jugs or needs to fill so many gallon jugs of Clorox or need to make so many uh, paper boxes or whatever, uh, manganese, whatever, then that's, that's our production. So in essence, let me say it this way, flow is marketing and sales. How many cars do we need to paint? How many gallons of Clorox do we need to fill? So flow is marketing and sales, and head is the engineering of your pipe system. Then we make a pump that's designed to do so many feet of head at so many gallons of flow.